welcome back, gainers, to another exciting episode of Comic Games. <laughs> if you're new to the show, I'm Adam. I'm Zach, and this is Princess, Her Royal Highness. Bow down. Fishnet Highness. If you're going to bow, bow low. Fishnet style. All right, guys. So we got a really cool episode for you. Today is Monday, and it's Mystery Box Monday, and we have a... Uh, a mystery box we have not opened for a very, very long time. We're going to jump back into it. We got one of those Christmas boxes. Torpedo. We're going to be opening up a torpedo box with That's ESL. Great. We'll see if we get those games. That company's a lot of times uh, very much a raffle. But we saw a good chance of winning. Mm -hmm. So we took a shot at it. A torpedo shot. And we have uh, three different YouTube buys. We're going to open up some from cool people in the community that we got on YouTube auctions. So that's our going to be our show for you. So before we jump into it. We got to jump into some bubblies. Some beer, guys. Feed my addiction. Hashtag feed my addiction. <laughs> no, don't do it. Uh, so we got a... Zach Beers. So, yeah, please. <laughs> uh, Haze Wonder, Laguntas. Laguntas is the, uh, the company that made it. It's kind of hard to see, but like there's a pink dog on there. Oh, it's yeah. Kinda, you know it's good if there's a pink dog. Yeah. But hopefully it doesn't taste like a pink dog, because then it won't be good. All right. It tastes just like a pink dog. <laughs> Yeah, it smells okay. Is it good? Is it hazy? It's making me feel all hazy. That's an IPA for sure. Is it? Hazy IPA? Yeah. You can, it has a little bit of bite. Not too bad. Bite like this pink dog. Not too bad. All right. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right, guys. So um, we've got a torpedo box we're going to open. So they did a special, like, what, 12 days of Christmas or something like that leading, leading up to Christmas where they did special buys on their mystery boxes. Um, a lot of them were really cool. We actually thought about buying a few of them, but we only ended up getting the one because a lot of them were sold out by the time. Very quick. Yeah, we thought about getting it. So um, I woke up, saw one. Um, they were doing, what, 100 boxes, $25 a piece, um, and you get a chance to get a Gore the God Butcher, and they had two Gore the God Butchers, so two people had a chance of winning Gore the God Butcher. So. I thought they had three. Was it three? Let's go with three. Okay, we'll say three. We'll say three. So. Very, very cool. So we'll check it out. We've bought uh, from Torpedo once before, uh, a while ago, like six months ago or something like that. Yeah. Something around that. So this will be our second time buying from them. So they give away like some very high-end uh, giveaways. But you got to spend a decent amount. So $25 for mystery boxes on the little, on the cheaper side for them. But we'll see. So they got cool custom uh, Gemini box there. Mm. The Torpedo. And they I they want to say they guaranteed like Fifty dollars worth of comics in this, I believe, if I remember correctly. And uh, we know, you know, like how how you know anybody actually wins. Well, we actually know someone personally, Chad RCG, that won a book. He won a big boy book. He won a Amazing Fantasy fifteen from them. Yeah, I think Wink won something too. He oh. won. Yeah. He oh, won. he won that. Uh, or no, Lethal he, Protectors Black. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or was it the white one? The the error. They, it's meant to have color on it. That's a lot of was, books. Wow. Wow, okay. twenty five dollars. That's not too bad. Yeah, I mean, let's bad. see what the books look like, but it could. So I don't know. A lot of times with them, if you win the thing, then you have like a picture. But I think that's only if it's a slab. So I'm not sure if that's the same case with these. Yeah. The real question is, why do you actually have the picture now? Why don't you just sit in like a big box? Is it like for surprise, or is it like if you don't claim it, then it like. Oh, they didn't claim it. Okay, right off the bat. Or they're just like, hey, we're going to send it to you later. Because I, I don't know. It almost seems like you don't have to claim. Or there's a... It's in a bag. Okay. Yeah, it's in a second bag. It's, it's in bag. a bag! And those that those books are also in bags and boards. One, That's two, cool. three, four, five, six books. You can count. Six books. Okay, start from the top, I think. And you go first. Okay. I'll go first. Whoa, this is a good book. We just, wow, Far Sector number one, and it is first print. This is like a $15 book right here. Really? Yeah. Wow. And it's the first appearance of the Slate right here. That's a really good book. Nice. Okay. <laughs> that was the top book, too. I mean, the first book, so hopefully that wasn't our main hit, but that's a good book. That's a really good book. Okay. Yeah, I think I kind of remember Far Sector. It was in the... Far uh... Sector. Oh, he's got to drink a beer. Come uh... on. Wait for it. So there's speculation that she might be in the Green Lantern HBO show. So. Oh, okay. All right, next one. Old Man Quill. <laughs> this is pretty cool, though. Number 11. I was thinking it was going to be Doctor Doom for a second. but Your Old Man Doctor Old Man Quill. I like the cover. Doom! 
Doom! Doom! He's like squeezing his head. Get off my lawn, Doom! <laughs> <laughs> Old man Doom. He's like yelling at kids on his lawn. <laughs> Get out of here! Okay, we got Uncanny X-Men 320. It's uh, Legion Quest. Number one. one. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure this book isn't too crazy, but it's a cool cover. I know Legion Quest is a good story. That's like the one where he goes back in time, right? And like yeah. accidentally kills uh, Professor X. Oops. <laughs> and then he... You can't spoiler. It's a really old book. Yeah, Read that's it. true. Legion Quest. Legion Quest. Yeah, I wouldn't mind reading The it. Quest of the Legion. I think that was a hit. Big heavy book. Uh, Marvel Anointed? Yeah, I've never heard of that. It's book four of four. It's huge. That's what she said. Yeah, man. <laughs> but it's got... um. Princess didn't say that. <laughs> you got Gwen Stacy like in a uh, what uh, snow globe. She's like, oh, she's standing up. Okay. Snow globe. I thought she was meditating or something. So far, we didn't get the uh, Gore the God Butcher out. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, you had a 3% chance, so... Yeah. <laughs> I like them odds. 3%. Better than normal. Okay. Yeah, true. And then you got Harley Quinn number 19. You got new Harley and old Harley. That's pretty cool with the costume. Hey, you got to wait till page 19. What? Oh. Back you like story. mumble read that? <laughs> red. What? <laughs> the red meat. <laughs> red meat. I guess it's like the storyline it's in right now. Red, right then. Red meat. Red meat. That's a rebirth, right? Yeah, rebirth. Okay, last one, and this might be our hit because it says uh, it actually has a grade on the back, so it says four point five VG plus. So it's probably an older book then. Older book. So let's see. Let's see, what we got here. Ooh, giant size superheroes featuring Spider-Man number one special issue. First fantastic issue. This looks pretty cool. You got. Uh, Man Wolf and Morbius fighting against Spider Man. They're like ripping them apart. Dang. This is pretty cool. They have, uh, Torpedo's got a label on there for $15. So I think this is their the, the hit of the box. That's pretty. Too bad it wasn't giant, uh, giant uh, size man thing. Giant size man thing. We want that book. Yeah. <laughs> giant size man thing. Who doesn't want a giant size man thing? Wait. Oh, no. 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 Well, I know what to get you for Christmas, Zach. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, we got her laughing. <laughs> so actually, um, I mean, I like, I mean, it was only $25. So, and there was a pretty, there was a, a decent chance I felt of getting that book, but Easy. overall good box. I mean, we got two good books, maybe worth about $30 to get together. Yeah. So, you know, that older ones, it's nice that your big hits like an older book. So it's kind of cool. So I give that thumbs up. I'm going to try them again. They do something cool like that. We're going to try Torpedo again. Good job, Torpedo. Good job on that one. All right. Good next box. So, um. This is something that the princess bought on YouTube, and she's not 100% sure uh, what's in this one until we see what's inside. So we need to see what's inside, and then uh, we'll know what it was. Yeah, who so, it was from. but the princess has no excuse. She wasn't drunk when she bought these. So yeah. I have the excuse. I don't What is this? Why would I buy a My Little Pony number one? I don't know. Or a Teletubbies number one. You did buy that. Oh, no. I knew oh, there's rubber bands on it. <laughs> Whoa, that's actually that's actually really smart. I've never seen that rubber bands on the Gemini, huh? That's actually really smart. That means you probably won't even have to have tape on it for like holding it in it's there. It's not that expensive to buy rubber bands too. No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try it out. Save those what rubber bands? Save the rubber band. We're save gonna reuse them. these rubber bands, guys. We're gonna save the planet. Yeah, I. We reuse all of our Geminis, so like, because most of the time they're not too beat up. Uh, there's been a couple. They're like, yeah, I can't, can't do this. They're like ripped apart. Like, yo, oh, this is something else. Um, um I don't well, remember who. I know what this is. Well, this show is, me. But I don't know. Is it like something really good? Mm, this is something I, I uh, the princess bought for me. Actually, I just don't remember who we bought it from. Oh, yeah. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay. So, I don't remember who did it. That's a good book. Um, yeah. So, I know we were watching YouTube auction together, and the princess bought this. 
and it was for me. But um, it's so it's from DS Comics. So really sorry, DS Comics. I can't remember when we bought this, but I remember now. Uh, I was like, "Can you buy that for me, Princess?" <laughs> and she bought it for me. So uh, she already has a copy herself, and I wanted to get a copy because it was going for a good price. All three of us has a copy now. So uh, it is uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number ninety, and is it the first cover appearance of Black? Black? No, it's the second uh, appearance of the Black costume. But what's that significance to Black Cat too, right? Or is it just a classic Black Cat cover? It's a classic Black Cat. That's right. Cat. Okay. But Second appearance of the black costume. It's a yeah, it's a black costume key. Very very cool. I just needed one for my collection. So thank you, princess. Every once in a while, I get lucky and I get a book. I get to keep one every once in a while. Every once in a while. Okay. So next one, um, and this one is we we know this one's from uh, J One Bob. Really cool dude. We we tend to buy a lot of stuff from J One Bob. Of J One Bob. A really nice guy. He's usually on metaphorical's auction, and he enjoys a, a beer just like uh, just like Zach does. Cheers. So he's usually drinking something and selling something good. And let's see. The this drunk. is something the princess bought, uh, either for herself or or she's giving it away. I can't remember something like that. The drunker he gets, the better deals he gives. Right. That's why we don't do auctions because Zach would just give away everything. Here, Hulk one eighty one. I don't have that book, so I can't give it away. Oh, there's some girls skipping out there. Oh, pay attention, Zach. She look cute. Ooh, wow, this is cool. Oh! Is there just one book? Or? There's a couple books. A <gasps> couple books. What? Don't know how to get... Okay, wait. What the heck? That girl just ran back like a, like a meme. Focus, Zach. I'm just saying, I'm giving a play-by-play -play of our window. It's another Sorry, gloomy day YouTube, in Washington. Our new YouTube show is going to be a play-by-play -play of our window. Uh, there was a FedEx truck that drove by a minute ago. Maybe that's why she was running after it. I need okay. my package! <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. Okay, so we'll start with that one. Oh, it's an anime. It's an anime book. That's yeah. really cool. That's really cool. Maybe the princess will give me that. Uh, I guess not. Is so it that... like the crow? Is it crow? Not the crow, it's crow. Crow. By Samantha Phillips? It's probably an anime also. Yeah. That's a cool looking book. Thank you, J1. A Bob. And then this one, this one's for the princess's collection, which is really cool because it's like, it's backwards, like a manga. Like the way the book opens, mm -hmm. you can see the spine is on the left. This is in better shape than yours, Zach. <laughs> Trade. So you got a uh, free comic book day one. This is a free comic book day, as you can see our mantle behind us. Mm. Uh, free comic book day uh, one punch man number, not number one, it's just free comic day, right? But yeah. it is the first appearance of One Punch Man in comics. And I believe My Hero Academia also, which is a big show too. Oh, I didn't realize it's a double first appearance. It says on the bottom. Ah, like a preview, right? Yeah. So it would be like a cameo? Yeah. Like, but that's, a, that's a good book. That's a hot book. Yeah. yeah. Very good book. Really, very really good, good book. book. So very cool there. So we got one more YouTube uh, YouTube auction mind. Zach's been excited for this. So we got this from a really cool guy, uh, Houdat Comics. So if you're not familiar with Houdat, um, he shows up on a lot of auctions uh, all over. He's on a lot of people's auctions. He also does his own auctions and claim sales, which he's been doing a lot more. I've seen less of him on other people's auctions and more of him on his own auctions. So Zach will link him down below if you guys want to check out his, his own claim sales. But uh, we got, uh, I think, a slab from him. So see if we got if we got some like that. I think this is something Zach bought for his own collection. Yes. I yes, believe so. For sure. Um, so the thing is with YouTube auctions and Instagram, you can get deals paying fair value without having to pay, go through all the other hassles, guys. You can, and you can get some really, really good deals. So it's worth, if you buy on eBay and you're like, you gotta pay all these fees, you gotta pay all the taxes, like everything. Well, if you buy on YouTube or Instagram, you can get the deals that you need in your life. You know, a book that you buy on uh, eBay for $200, you can get for 150 on IT or YouTube. I mean, it, it's a no-brainer, guys. A no-brainer. And if you guys watch our videos, we link a lot of people that do auctions. Uh, so sub them up, and when they're doing a live show, check or live yeah live show, check them out and be get those show. gains. <laughs> I've been fifteen dollars. That book was sold like two months ago. Guys. It's like, ah, oh, dang it! I believe there's a a raw book in here too. Yep. I thought so too. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. That makes it more exciting, isn't it? I think I was bidding for the raw book. Mm -hmm. And then if you paid this amount, Zach, 
or princess because princess was princesses are bitter it's so much if you pay $15 or if you paid 75 I think it was you can get free shipping that book and then the slab oh yeah oh yeah oh that's the rare yeah Ooh, yeah I, mean, I wonder I was like well, what am I this is this? a really cool it's like a Star Wars homage yeah I think it's a See? one in a hundred yeah I think it's one in a hundred yeah so you got scumbag number one uh, which Zach's really digging that book guys if you guys are looking for a good book to read uh, Zach's yeah. been picking that up at his local LCS and he got the one in one in 100 which I believe the princess bottom the one in 10 or the one in 20 yeah yeah so you got like the whole set I got the whole set <laughs> and that cover is great yeah love that Star Wars homage on that one I don't know if the series if it ever gets like really hot and then make a TV shot. I don't think I could sell any of them. I mean, I want to. No, no that's especially if you really like to read, you want to keep really those for your PC. Great story. Oh my gosh! Ooh. So oh, I, I think it, that was the second appearance of uh, the Cosmic Ghost. There, I think. Yeah, I think so. So um, we got Thanos number sixteen. This is a cool book. Um, 9.8 and it doesn't say but I think you're right I think that is second appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider who is also spoiler alert guys Frank Castle I believe yeah I think that's right yeah formerly known as Punisher well it's, yeah basically him combined with like uh, the Ghost Spirit. Rider but then has like the cosmic powers yeah I I like that one I think he became the Herald of Galactus that that's right. why he has cosmic powers so he got He's already B.A. as the Punisher, and then he gets the Spirit of Vengeance, I think, is the Spirit of Vengeance, or Spirit of... Sounds right. Spirit of Vengeance. The, the Spirit of Disappointment, and then you get <laughs> anointed. You, had, Zach. <laughs> you get anointed by Galactus to be one of his heralds. Like, that's a trifecta right there. You can't beat that guy. Yeah. Don't even try. So, really great books. Thank you, Houdat. Uh, I think all of those are going into uh, Zach's personal collection, so no worries there. Those are staying in the family. Um, so, uh, that's our show. Uh, we also, before we end the show, we, I, we want to put out a question to the community cause we, uh, we actually don't know the answer to it. So a okay, question for you guys. So we recently bought like a box of all these free comic book day, uh, books, a really good deal. I think Zach posted on Instagram. We got it for like $5. Someone oh just got, <laughs> I, I will. Zach just sent, or sent us this huge stack of all these free comic book day right. books and we got like the Batman Beyond and the Umbrella Academy that's up here. And they're all stamped um, with the store stamp, which we know some stores do. Does anybody know, does that affect the grade of the book? So um, we really truly don't know. And it's kind of hard to look that up to see like the answer on that. So right. we're putting this question out to the community. If you guys know, uh, leave us a comment in this video of what you guys think of that, of whether or not it affects the, the grade of the book. We're interested to hear what you guys think. So. Uh, that's our show for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like our show, love our show, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the notification bell so you always know when new stuff is dropping. And don't forget to leave a comment on the video. We love reading them comments. Read them. And uh, anything else, Zach? Yeah, you want to share how you do that is. I actually didn't remember the topic, so I'm going to go off the top of my head. You got to be Doom, or you got to be X-Men, or you got to be this. And like from right now to 2099, you got to wait. And then your X Men twenty ninety nine or Doom twenty ninety nine, does that make it better? I don't know. Spider Man for sure. You get that all of those you know, extra those finger thing. Yeah. Yeah, like that sharp thing that comes out of the end of his fingers. <laughs> That's really cool. I I love <clears throat> Spider Man twenty ninety nine. I think he had fangs too, didn't he? Did he have fangs? Oh, I, I need to read that book. I think he had fangs. We just recently got his first appearance again. We have like five of them now. Mm -hmm. Can't help it. You yeah. can't help but get those gains. Yeah. So get them, guys. Yeah, twenty ninety nine gains. 2090 it's coming soon we're hopefully we'll be alive in 2099 <laughs> i don't we i can, mean we can see I, i'm gonna make it so <laughs> well supposedly i've heard that our average lifespan by the time you know to this point is going to get up to 120 to 140 i don't quite believe that we'll see we'll, we'll, we'll see I'll, I'll let you know in 2099 <laughs> all right guys everybody stay safe out there remember get those gates get them get them peace